In order to gauge more on the ground opinion to the sectarian issue, we went to the Loudoun Tavern. Self-proclaimed greatest pub in the world and Glasgow's most famous watering hole amongst Rangers fans. Uh, my name's Robert Marshall, I'm the custodian of the Loudoun Tavern. I don't think there's many bigots. Uh, the problem is people get mixed up with fans' passions for their teams and, and maybe getting a carried away a wee bit as, as against a bigot. There's very few bigots about. I think there's certain uh, so-called sports writers um, got a hidden agenda with Rangers. And, and to be fair with Shelley at times, it, it's just that it's her turn for them to, to, to turn on us. And I, I wouldn't even mention these people's names because I don't really think they're real sports writers. They are, they are, they are people who just live by trying to create problems for other people. David Murray's done fantastic since he came to Ibrox. We've got less arrests at a game we had 30 years ago. Um, when he came about 12 years ago, the, 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 the rest have practically disappeared. Um, he's, he's thrown people out because of the, ant, uh, the anti-sectarian drive to try and drive out Ibrox. But nobody but nobody's given them any credit. Now, Yef, has, as you said, has pulled them up for singing. Everybody knows what the song was, up to their knees in Fenian blood. Now, I've got tons of Celtic friends who can't believe they've actually been bought up for this. This is a thing that's been sung for 30 years. Celtic's got songs that, you know, that maybe certain Rangers fans all of a sudden find offensive. It's just absolute nonsense. Political correctness gone mad. See, as long as there's no trouble in the park, who cares what people sing? It's not a big deal. As for Celtic fans, you get the odd shout, but most of it's banter. I mean, they're not throwing bricks around, they're just throwing words and to me it's all part of the football. It, it is a laugh and as long as it stays friendly, it's not a problem. It's if they wanted to do anything physical, then we would would have a problem. I've had a few um, bits of paint thrown in the pub, but I mean, you're not going to tell me every Celtic fan's a moron because they won coward, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't take that out in them. I, th I think the Scottish executives are in danger of um, trivialising their, their job. They, they seem to be concentrating solely on something that doesn't appear to be a problem to people that go to football. I mean, you ask any football fan that goes, they don't go to the game saying, oh, I wonder what's going to happen today, is there going to be trouble? The trouble's all away in the 70s. The clubs have done brilliant. Rangers have done everything they can, and I've got to say, Celtic have done as, as well as they can. They can be responsible for their fans um, going to third part and singing about IRA or, or whatever. I mean, they can't be responsible for that. And I don't understand why the media is playing such an active part in promoting this. Let us sing more songs, we're not doing any harm. I've said before, I wish it was all football songs, but the world's not made up of perfect people, so you're going to get the odd song that maybe they shouldn't sing. Uh, my name's Robbie Ferguson, and I've followed the Glasgow Rangers for 54 years. They keep coming up with, with two sayings uh, regarding Rangers, regarding Protestants, is fuck the Pope and up to your knees and feet your blood. This is the two sayings that they seem to be cracking down on. Mm -hmm. Do you think that though those may be offensive or not to Catholics, that you know you still do have the right to say that? Of course, I've been. I mean, I've been singing these songs for, uh, as I say, 54 since I've been five year old. 54 years. Uh, okay, I can see where they're coming from, regarding fuck the Pope and up to my knees in Fenian blood. But the songs for by the two saints, to me. It should be no, after all, uh, God Save the Queen and uh, Flower of Scotland are similar songs. Mm -hmm. Are you offended by any particular songs or slogans that are sung by Celtic fans? No. Not offended at all? No. I don't agree with it, mm -hmm. but I'm not offended with it. Okay, so you would certainly support their right to sing whatever songs they want to sing? Oh, they can sing with it, as long as they don't come near it, as long as they don't sing it in my face. Mm -hmm. I don't take nothing to do with politics or any kind, but these people are just looking for brownie points. Mm -hmm. They know it's a, t a topic. Everybody's a Catholic or a Protestant, so... Mm -hmm. Nah, it's all rubbish what these people say. I really don't know what sectarian is. I, I've, asked, um, I've asked the police to tell me what songs are sectarian to make sure they weren't played in the pub, and the police don't know. They, they, they don't know what's sectarian. Um, they're in a position where, where nobody's telling them, they're not, they're not getting a guideline. So I, I really don't know what, what they're on about. Um, the bigotry bit's quite easier, easier isn't it? It's, it's somebody who doesn't allow somebody else their opinion. Um, I really don't know many people that, that object to Celtic fans having their opinion, or, or Rangers fans for that matter having their opinion. I just think there seems to be a wedge getting put in by the executive 
to, to make this divide wider than it is. 30 years ago there was a lot, a lot of trouble. Now there's hardly any trouble and they keep going on about it. Next we went to Celtic Park in the hour leading up to Celtic FC's final home game of the season against Kilmarnock in order to talk to some Celtic fans about the so-called sectarian blight which is dividing the nation. Because people say about bigots and things like that but people go into a game for 90 minutes shouting and bawling at each other, walking home, going into a pub, picking at the same people that they're shouting about. My mate stays at that who's up there, he's an oarsman, he's just threw things out the window to congratulate us for winning the league. I'm a Celtic spotter, I'm a Fenian. And I'm what I'm, but I don't care what anybody else is. Man, the song's only the song. The biggest the guy that objects to the other guy. You sing your song, I'll sing my song. And let's all just go on with it. We've been brought up with it. But don't bring anybody else in here. We don't hate anybody. We love us. They love theirs. It's traditional. And I've got a mate. He's a Langer Rhodes and Orange man. That's the way it is. What I find offensive, though, I think what's really offensive is the way the media are misportraying everything that's happened. The Rangers fans were already Spain, a predominantly Catholic country, and started decrying the religious leader. You can't walk out of a country like that and start shouting F the Pope and what have you. The Spanish thought he didn't have a clue what hello, hello, we are the Billy Boys meant. They're no interest in we're up to their knees in Fenian blood. What they heard was F the Pope, F the Pope, or not again. You go to a Celtic Rangers game or here, and what they're saying is I want to kill a Fenian before I die, F the Pope, no Pope of Rome, and yet they still talk about it being a Celtic Rangers thing. It's no, it's an anti-Catholic sentiment, and I think it's absolutely atrocious. So do I find them offensive? Highly offensive. Do I think that there's a misrepresentation of it? Definitely. But what's the answer? I don't think it's all this anti-sectarianism kind of legislation that they're bringing in. I don't think that's the answer at all. I think what's really difficult is Rangers fans should be allowed to and should continue to sing songs like the Sash because it's a triumphalist song. It's no sectarian. It's born out of, well, it's kind of bred about sectarianism, but it's not born out of sectarianism. Um, so I think they should be permitted to sing that. Likewise, um, we should be permitted to sing any kind of triumphalist songs that can refer back to days gone by. I think the danger is that as soon as you start outlawing different songs, before you know it, somebody's going to say that the soldier song is a sectarian song, and lo and behold, what you're doing is you're segregating hey, an entire part of the community. You're saying that the Irish community are then guilty of singing sectarian songs when they know they're casting back to days gone by. So I think if the price to pay is that we can't kind of make reference to um, orangeism and they can't make reference to fenianism, then great, that's the way it should be. Um, and I think, aye, should we stop singing about outlawed so-called terrorist organisations, then if that's the way we go, that's the way we go. But I think there's people are going to have to be really careful as to which regard it's sectarian. Um, but I know it's, it's a difficult one, I mean, where's the freedom of speech? And um, as I say, who, who gets to see the overall say-so as to which regard it's sectarian? I mean, I think the, um, the MSPs are absolutely having a giraffe just now because, uh, you know, they're kind of regarding sectarianism as being something that's bred in its schools. The fact that you've got separate Catholic and non-denominational religion as well is probably going to be regarded as sectarian, but I think something people will passes. For example, a Catholic school is not a cool school for Catholics. It's a Catholic run and Catholic educated school. So before you know it, we're going to be regarded as being sectarian because we follow our faith as well. Mm -hmm. It's a tough one. Um, should they stop singing our songs? Should we stop singing our songs? If they're deemed to be offensive, then aye. But maybe somebody should come up with a, 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 a bit of a list as to what's offensive in the song.